there's a Patreon standoff out in the Midwest. Tech Bud and Jason pay a visit to the Gauntlet God. Will they scream hallelujah? All coming up on episode 25, whistling straight out to the Midwest for a Patreon visit. Yeah, seems like a far way to go. I got a beer, I got my buddy, and we're going to talk about <laughs> the latest courses and everything going on in GS Pro. How's it going, Mashy? It's good, Master. How are you? How is everybody, how's everybody doing? How are you doing? How was your week? Oh, uh, man. Well, it was a really messed up week. Um, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, I shouldn't say messed up. It's just different. Um, my family is in, like, separate parts of the world right now. Okay. Okay. Um, I've got one kid who is in Spokane, Washington, uh, my okay. oldest, uh, who's seeing yeah. her boyfriend who plays f- yeah. for the major league, major league baseball team. Yeah. Um, I've got my middle daughter and my wife are on a cruise. So they're out in the middle of the ocean somewhere. Nice. You're solo. And, yeah. And then my youngest is at a field hockey camp slash exhibition in Michigan. <laughs> uh, you're really solo wow yeah. like, so i thought cool. it was a good idea on wednesday i went to our lake house i'm like oh I'll take the dog the dog loves to swim she'll be you know happy up there yeah. it just yeah. rained it rained the past like three days so i decided i was going to stay up there all weekend and i decided to come back today because sitting up there with nothing to do was boring so yeah. i'm home <laughs> how about you no, welcome home welcome home uh it was a it was it was it was a weird week my little, who is seven, um, did his first sleepaway camp ever. Um, it was for one week, and it was a just a week about... at seven years old. At seven years old, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, and it was uh, it was about forty five, about an hour uh, west of Denver, up in the mountains, at a place called Geneva Glen. My daughter has gone to this camp for years, and she goes as older kids. She goes for two weeks at a time, so okay. she'll be gone for two weeks. Um, but this is the first like. For littles, they have a two day and they have a seven day. And he was too old for the two day, but we didn't feel comfortable with a full two week camp as his first. So we the seven, the, it was actually five nights. So it wasn't a full week, um, but it was just weird. Like it was the first time in seven years that the little wasn't around all the time. Yeah, uh, it's it, kind of weird. Like yeah, kind of weird. <laughs> a little freedom yeah. there, huh? Yeah, it was. Uh, and and it's a uh, it's amazing how much um, positive how do I say this without sounding like really hippie ish, like positive energy. This kid brings like he is, he Yo, is, man. Yeah, so he's cool. like a ball, he's a ball of nonstop. Like, like any seven year old boy would be right. He's an extroverted, very, uh, uh, a type kind of, and when, when he was gone, it was like really quiet around here. It was kind of strange. And after about three days, I was like, Ooh, where's my buddy? Like, <laughs> I wonder if uh, I wonder if Steve can find some hippie music for us. He's got to find some hippie '70s music. Yeah, we think head seventy. Yeah, it was probably will sound. Gotta like, be in that. It's gonna sound like though. porn music though. '70s. Yeah, yeah. We don't want that. We don't want that. Weird, it was a weird week. The good news is, I looked up today and it was Friday, and the week had gone, and it was yeah. time to go pick him up. So, um, yeah. But that was it. Other than that, it was fine. Nice. So, yeah. um, yeah. I, assuming you're uh, you're having a drink, right? I'm a, I'm a few in. Oh, um, nice. I, I may actually go to sleep before we're done here tonight. <laughs> well, it depends on how long. Good thing there's only like four or five courses to talk to you tonight because well, I'm not sure how long OBS lets me pause for, so you don't fall asleep. <laughs> you might wake up tomorrow. If I'm wearing a different shirt tomorrow, is, 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 but the end <laughs> yeah. of the episode, all of a sudden it just changes. I am in my pajamas, so I could fall asleep. I have like a T-shirt on, but I do have my pajamas on. <laughs> so I, I asked my son what uh, since I picked him up from camp. I always did this for my daughter, which is. Uh, when they come home, I always make them their, I do all the cooking. So I make them their favorite meal. And so yeah. on the drive home from camp, I said, what do you want for dinner? Anything you want, it's your favorite meal. And he said, I want you to make your fajitas. 
So I made fajitas, and as I was grilling outside and cooking up the meat and doing all the, you know, cooking uh, onions and peppers and all that good stuff on the grill outside, I went ahead and fired up a Moscow mule. Oh, so I love I'm, those. Um, those are good. I'm, I'm working my way through a bottle of Deep Eddy vodka in my <laughs> in my third Moscow mule. It's, we it's just become a recording. cocktail show now. <laughs> that is, yeah, I think, officially you know, our first cocktail on here. I don't know if anyone. I, 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 I didn't feel the bourbon today. I actually felt like a cocktail. So yeah. I fired up the ginger beer and the, the vodka and the, and the uh, limes and. Yeah, well, good. I, I really screwed up. I went to the store. I had to go to the store first of all to get myself some dinner. And then I was in there and they have like a micro brew section where you can buy cans. That's usually I grab one for the show. I get the cans. I, I go to check out. Well, you have to check out separately for alcohol. And yeah. it's the place where they cannot check you out. The person cannot without an ID. And I, I pay on my watch or my phone all the time. I didn't have my ID with me. <laughs> And I'm like, uh, I'm like, oh, I was like, come on, I'm for it. And she's like, look, I would totally ring you up, but our system does not let us ring up without an ID, you know? Yeah. yeah so yeah. I, uh, I ended up having uh, something in the basement. So I don't know. I'm in Hershey, Pennsylvania. For people to know, Trogue's Brewery is, is in town here, uh, very close by, uh, very popular place. So I have a Trogue's Troganator, which is a double Bach beer, very, Ooh. very malty um flavorful um double box so that sounds good yeah definitely a mix up from when i'm the ipas that i normally drink yeah 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 that's, that's a dark one though. that's a good yeah double box is um yeah, yeah. that looks good yep good so then you that brings to... us to uh yeah. the bourbon fund the fun tracker we're, we're, we're getting there we're so, almost ready to yeah so this week and i'm starting to see a little even though our views are going down a little bit because of summer the the revenue is starting to ramp up a little bit. We made ten bucks this week, so we went from twenty two to thirty two dollars. Like, listen, that's a bottle of crap bourbon right there. Yeah. Like, yes. We need about you know we we could probably get a bottle on sale. We could probably find like Knob Creek on sale or Bullet on sale, uh, no. and get a bottle of those for but, the thirty five thirty eight dollar. But here's the problem. I don't know if I, I can't remember if I talked about this or not. Uh, we don't get paid until we reach hundred bucks. <laughs> they will oh. not send us any money until we reach a hundred dollars. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, that is, oh, it's well, like okay, it's so... hundred dollars, and I think that they'll pay you. Then I then not only that, but it's timing wise. I think it's like the fault the end of the following month they pay you for the previous month. Something wacky like that. Sometime by September, we'll be able to get. Yes. <laughs> it's, just, it's a, it's, it's, it's all about the journey. <laughs> and the problem is, we're only, we're gonna have enough for. Well, I guess at a hundred bucks, and you just Venmo me half, and then we'll go yeah. buy this bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll yeah, work. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I figure we'll have thirty dollars, and we'll have enough to buy one bottle. Yeah. So, so you'll have to like pour it into a canteen, and then bottle and ship it to me, and tape it up, and. <laughs> yeah. So at the re- I I think we're going to be due probably to get something in August. Well, we'll reach a hundred bucks probably in August, but we probably won't get the check until September. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I was right. September is when we'll we'll celebrate on that show. Yep. Yep. So we'll keep on rolling with that one. In the meantime, how we get paid on here is by. Well, oh, I talking forgot. About golf stories. Go- talking about golf stories. <laughs> now, we've got a new podcast starting <laughs> up about our golf story, our golf mishaps. <laughs> yes. I forgot that we, we added this segment at the last second. I was like, do you have anything? He's like, oh, I got a quick Steve, one. Did, did Steve come up with cute music for the golf story music, like story um, time music? I thought he had something on the last one, but I can't remember. I'll have to, I'll have to talk to Because Steve was drunk on the last one. So yeah. he was, yeah. He had Dude, a few that words. guy is never sober. So he's a lush. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised anything gets done anyway. <laughs> so what was your, uh, what's your story? You want to, you, you, so listen, I, I, I was going to share one tidbit from my golf trip that we went on last week, uh, or maybe it was a week and a half ago, whenever we did that. Um, I was talking with my my swing coach, or my coach, my golf coach, and um, one thing that she always tries to, um, really tries to ingrain in, in all, of her, all of her students are, no matter how badly you played, there's always some good. And you really need to hang on to the good shots and put the bad shots behind you, because everybody gets bad shots, doesn't matter how good you are. And if you only focus on the bad shots, the bad holes, the bad rounds, then you 
really kind of diminish the fun that you have, right? Yeah. yeah Doesn't it, mean to I, ignore apparently it. you watched Justin Thomas today in the US Open. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then, you know, uh, DJ started off with an eight on number one, you know? So, yeah. Um, JT, what did he shoot? 81 today in the in the Open? So yeah. We were joking. Yeah. The guys in there, we were joking that he might have qualified for our Invitational. Maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe I got a member guest coming up in, in July at my local course. Maybe he'll come play. <laughs> <laughs> they might flight him with me in the 10 handicap group. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, nice. so I was thinking back on my round. Now, well, listen, we played seven rounds. Okay. And I'm not going to recap the rounds or the, the course, anything, but there was one hole in particular at, uh, it was in Seattle. It's in, in, actually, I think it was like in East of Olympia. Olympia, Olympia, Washington, Olympic, Olympia, where the capital is, state capital. Um, and it's called Gold Mountain. There's two courses there. There's the Olympic course and the Cascade course. We played them both. I played the Cascade course. I actually shot a 78 there, so I was pretty happy with that round. Never played it before. Played from the back. It's yeah, I mean, course. to shoot a 78 on a new course is pretty cool. Yeah, pretty happy. Yeah, pretty happy with that. But there's one hole. So number 18 is a long par 5. I mean, not super long, but I want to say it's probably... 525 or so but it's uphill the whole way okay and it's a really interesting hole it's a little bit of a of a roller coaster hole in the sense that the they carved it like out of the hillside going up the hill so the fairway is 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 like a bowl all the way up the sides okay? okay so if you hit the ball right or you hit the ball left as long as you hit the rough or the fairway it's going to kick, if you hit the right, it's going to kick left down into the valley. Or if you hit it to the left, it's going to kick to the right into the valley. Yeah. And so I hit a really good drive. Um, and I was, uh, and I hit it a little bit left and it bounced to the right. And it was sitting right in the middle of the fairway. And the funny thing was we got up there um, and like, there's like 9,000 divots. Because every single ball goes down <laughs> into the middle of this valley here, right? So the ball was sitting pretty, was sitting really nice. And I had... 248 yards uphill, par five, so to the hole, to the pin. 248 uphill with slope, I, calcul I, I calculated it's like 256, I think, uphill. Three wood, 256, dead straight, right at the pin, stops eight feet past the pin. <laughs> so I walk up there, eight foot putt for eagle, missed it by like... Just a smidge, it rolled, just half the ball was in the cup and half the ball was, you know, 50-50, could have gone anywhere. It didn't break all the way in, left myself a six-incher, tapped that in for, uh, for, for birdie on the last hole for a 78 on that round. So, wanted to share, it's a ton of fun, pretty proud of that moment. The rest of the rounds were crap, but that's the one I'm going to hold on to. <laughs> well, that's good. You found some positive, I mean, 78 is positive in itself, but then, you know, it's the good shots to keep you coming back, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So we, I had golf league this week and, um, I know no hole by hole play. Cause I can summarize this in basically two sections, which is, <laughs> which was the first five holes. Okay. Um, and I started par, 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 par. Okay. The fifth yeah. hole, which is a par yeah. five. Yeah. Launch a beautiful drive just right in the middle of the fairway, birdied it. And nice. so now I'm one under after five one holes. Under. Um, and as they say, birdie is the worst thing for your game because I didn't get under a bogey or a double bogey <laughs> from there on out. <laughs> Ended up with like a 44 in the, on the nine holes. <laughs> I, I don't know what is the problem with the mental game, which is whenever I birdie, I always follow it up with a bogey or a double. I, yeah. I can never go birdie birdie. So, so that was that was a par five. The next thing next hole was like a 115 yard par three. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I got I think I got a six on it. <laughs> Yeah, shank one to the right, dunk Ugh. your second shot, sure, yeah. flub the chip. The good thing is I won my or match. <laughs> I won my match, um, so so that was good. Uh, and we are in second place right now. My t we are yeah. in second place in the league, so yeah. Good for you. Yep. Maybe you'll we'll augment the bourbon fund by winning your match and get some money. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Try, there, there you go. Will I get paid before the league or our bourbon fund? Which one will come That's in first? Good question. Exactly. <laughs> Both yep. September, right? Yep. <laughs> yep. Exactly. So, all right, let's talk courses. Okay. Uh, let's move this I thing know. around. Well, a I guess you'll put us over there. Yeah. 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 yeah there you go. So, this is like Twilight Zone stuff going on here. Yeah. And I don't know. 
well, let's wait until we introduce the courses, and then let's see if anybody else can catch on. Yeah. Two weird things going on this week. Two weird things. Yeah. Okay, so let's just yeah. start here. Yeah. So we have Prairie West Golf Club in Weatherford, Oklahoma, by the Pac Man. Friend okay. of the show. A friend Good of the friend. show. Love yep. Him. Yep. And we also have Princeton Golf Club and Texas Consolver. And I, I keep on wanting to say Texas Revolver. <laughs> It's not. It's Texas. I do want to say Texas Revolver, though. Every time yeah. I see it, I want to say Texas Revolver. And I think of like, I think of uh, for those of you, I don't know if you'll, you probably, I don't. Well, you're a sports fan, so you may get this reference. But every time I see Tex Consolver, all I can think about is Big Tex at the State Fair of in Dallas, <laughs> like at the Texas OU game. He's up there, you know, hi, partner. That's all I can think of. <laughs> um, but both of those are by Run Pud Run. Okay, we got Minnesota and Kansas. Friend of the show, by the way. Run, run, run. Yes. Friend of yes. the show. <laughs> if we're, if we're throwing out names there, right? Um, and then, of course, Whistling Straits, okay, which is in Sheboygan, Minnesota. And for some reason, this I was having problems with this yeah. uh, load, and that's why it doesn't show the location in there. Fixed it now, actually but... is in, it's a secret where it is. Shh. Shh. It's not on that. I can't tell you where it is. This location is, is in Sheboygan. Hidden, hidden by <laughs> it's in Sheboygan. Sheboygan. Uh, uh, Tech Bud. And then we have a fifth one. Now, this one, maybe you'll see when this last one comes up. Then we have the fifth one that came in Thursday. Yep. Which Late was Thursday. Golf Boy in Texas. All right. Yep. Scott Schreiner Golf Course. Now, do you guys see the two weird things going on here? I do. Okay, so the weird things are all Patreon guys, Patreons, yep, right. The four big Patreon people, and they're all in the Midwest this week. So uh -huh. I, the the show name has got to be something with that. So, so it's got to be like a showdown. Steve's gonna have to think of something creative there, right? Yeah, showdown of the Midwest Corral or something. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, like yeah, yeah, some sort of like I wanna I wanna like 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 you know, outlaw Josie Wales type music. That is not the actual music that is not copyrighted that we can actually not. <laughs> well, well uh, Steve went out and he found a, a lot of a big music source that we're allowed to use now. So I'm sure he'll. he'll All I want is a whistle in there. Yeah. I just want some sort of whistle. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> so which one do we want to jump in first? Let's talk about Pac-Man's Prairie West. And yeah, Prairie West in Weatherford, Oklahoma. Uh, let me move this around here. So let's see here. There wasn't anything funky about the intro. So let's jump in. So the one thing I really did like about this course was it mm -hmm. looks like Prairie West. <laughs> you know, I'm going to agree with you and say it's also what I didn't like about the course and Pac-Man, not about you and your design or anything like it. I felt like I was on the prairie and it made me anxious. I didn't want to be on the prairie. I don't know why. <laughs> So maybe there's something about being on the uh, open golf course with weather or, you know, I was expecting I maybe a tornado at any given moment. That would have made it exciting to add a tornado. I want to see like a, like maybe like the wizard of Oz and like the house gets spinning yeah. a tornado as it goes a, by a, a witch on a, on a bike, you know, mm -hmm. scoot by really quick or something. Yep. yep exactly. Um, the one now, the when I turn this up, I immediately turn the wind up because, you know, I was expecting a tornado coming through. So I turned things up to gusty. Um, <laughs> Actually, I think it was breezy, but this tree right here, um, I don't know if he, moved weird. it moved really weird. It was like he had different shaders. It's almost like he had different shaders on the leaves versus the bark because the, mm. the, the, the branches were actually disconnected from the, from the tree. Um, yeah, I don't know what it was. It was bizarre. It was a little distracting for me. But it just Pac-Man might be something to check out. It was yeah, I noticed bizarre. something similar with that tree. I didn't go close into it, but I was like, something's off with that tree. Yeah. I don't know what no. tree that is. It's it's not a forest tree, but I don't know. Um, so here's where I was expecting the tornado to come. Right? I yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. it's so I mean I listen, he captured the prairie really, really well. Yeah. Grasses look um, like a prairie grass, you know. But I want to ask you a question on this. Um seen and it kind of goes back to you're, you're not prepared for this by the way I, uh -oh. I i didn't i didn't tell you in pre-show that i was going to ask you this question but i okay. think it's an interesting discussion what do you think of the blend on the t-box between the rough and the t-box so 
I think this is something that people are split on. I know the look that people are going through is like the depthy shadow. I don't yeah. personally like it. Yeah, I think it's too. Dark. I mean, I'm going back to when we were discussing the ranch, my course, where we had the floor a little bit dark and had very similar looking on the blend going yes. for the shadow. But um, yeah, I'm not. Listen, it's not a. It's 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 nothing wrong with it. I didn't know if you had any. I think it's on. a preference thing. Um, yeah, I would love to hear what other designers think if they like that look to, to give it like a. It's almost like a. I I think the reason I don't like it is because it's on both sides. If I want a shadow look, I want like a it's shadow on, Yeah, like on one side of the tee box. When it's on both sides, it looks really fake to me. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I would turn down the strength of that blend perf uh I think personally. it's a little pronounced. I think it looks a little bit from here and from NGS Pro, from the tee box. I think it just looked a little like, I mean, most people playing the course aren't going to notice it. They're going to yeah. look out at the distance and where they're going to hit their yeah. shot. But yeah, we're as a designer, and we yeah we look at this from a designer standpoint. I think that, and and I'm saying it my own look that way as well. Like I'm doing a new course now, and I'm doing blends right now, and I'm trying to make sure I don't have it that dark on the T boxes, yeah. especially. He's I just noticed, and I, I don't know maybe this was my screenshot, but he appears to have that same far side normal spotting that I had talked I'm about. I'm seeing it course. all over the place, and my own course too. Though I'm building, I'm seeing that kind of far side spotting as well. Yeah, I don't know if the, that that defaults got changed or not, but it's the Something. far side normal. It's the far distance, far rendering. I fit the dip, the normal distance, the far normal distance. It's got. So I down. played with that setting. We'll talk about it on another course. I played with that setting in my course and didn't have any effect. Oh, really? Interesting. It did okay. not get rid of the spotting. It hmm. was still out there. It wasn't quite as pronounced, but it was still there. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Um, so this was just another shot of the prairie and found some tea boxes that were a little, uh, they're melting. They're melting. It's the witch. She's yeah, teeing she's... off, teeing off at an angle. <laughs> <laughs> the witch is melting. That's where she melted right here off the side of the tea box. Um, and then just a, lot, a few cart paths that were a little bumpy. Uh, it's and, rippling in the wind. It's just rippling yes. in the wind. Okay. It's so windy yes. and breezy out in the prairie that it's just rippling in the wind. That's all. Yeah. Well, I don't now think you're just being too critical. I think this was <laughs> I think this was a basic build because I don't see sat shader yeah. on here, no custom assets and things. Yeah. So um yeah. everything else looks really good. Um just it's just a but flat I, course. I do want to call out though, look how good the 3DG looks on the basic standard textures that come in V4 oh, yeah. tool. Like where you're it, it it looks so good. You know what we should do sometime? Uh, I don't know. If, we have to find a really old, good course. like And just put the basic textures on it. No, just like show you like what a, a good course looked like from two and a half, three years ago. Okay, and, yeah, yeah. And like compare it to like a, you know, just an average course now and just say, well, look, the I think they've gotten so much better. Like the... You know, you know, maybe we could do, maybe we could do this as we're brainstorming. I'm almost done with a full V4 rework of Sanctuary. Eh, so yeah. maybe we look at Sanctuary but, as a V3, but which here, is almost yeah. years old. But uh, yeah, but I, I, I won't even go back. So Sanctuary, I guess, how old was that? Yeah, you might be, that might be. Almost yeah, a year, year, year and a half. Yeah, It'll be so two that years might be a good one. Winter. I was thinking like when G GS Pro first started, like what was the well, hot course sure. at the time, right? Well, we you could can go back. At, just go look Pebble. at Yes. Yeah. I don't have to think the about that. The old course. Yeah. Well, the old well, course is no can, longer. We can't we look can't, at it anymore. So, yeah. Um, I was kidding. That was a bit of a jab. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Not you, I, but it, yeah. <laughs> well, it isn't me because if I ever get the courses I'm doing right now, I'll start on the old course. <laughs> didn't mean it to be at you, by the way. I was not jab. It was an like... intro. You just didn't know it. <laughs> I love when you pointed out your own jab, right? Yeah, it's, good. it's in the queue for me, which, you know, my queue is like, it's only four courses deep, but it's like three years. <laughs> yeah, three, three, is, three is being kind, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. If I ever get done with these um, V4 videos, I'm going to start building courses again. Okay, so, um, oh, Clubhouse. By the time so, you're done with the V4 videos, the V5 videos. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're right. God, those guys are going to start working. They're going to have, a, we're going to be on Unity 2023 before I'm done yep. with these next yep. course. <laughs> Yep. I know. I noticed, and I know we're oh God, we're taking too long. I know, but yeah. I noticed in that uh, in, in a couple of the bit, I went because um, I Blender wasn't working for me, and I I screwed something up. I fucked something up in it, and I actually loaded up one of your videos on Blender, the install Blender, to make sure I had all the add-on files proper. I just couldn't remember the loop tools. I just, I, yeah, it was on the tip of my tongue. Couldn't remember it. 
I noticed you actually now have like deprecated. There's some videos that they like, deprecated. Don't look at this. I've seen, I've noticed you're doing. Oh, that are you looking at the? Videos. Were you looking the at the V3 playlist or the V4 playlist? Yeah. Oh, I have, a, I have a V4 playlist now. Have you seen that? No, I don't need it. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, no one needs me. I'm, All right. I'm kidding. I have absolutely looked at the V4 playlist. Oh. I just wanted to see what you said. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I was like, I don't know if anyone's was looking at that stuff or not. Um, <laughs> it's just an excuse to make V4 videos so I don't have to build courses. Jeez. It's just an excuse to drive our <laughs> bourbon fund up. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry, Sorry. Pac-Man. Sorry, Pac-Man. So this clubhouse, um, I turned this, like, I looked at this like, oh, cool clubhouse. I like the textures on here, but I was like, something isn't right. And I couldn't figure out what it was. And then I started playing through the course and I found this house and I was like, ah, I figured out what it was. So look at the windows on this house <laughs> and then look at the windows here. And I think it's his reflection probes. He didn't put reflection probes on here. What, what are you I laughing thought, at now? I thought we... This is this is the Moscow Mule kicking in. So I thought when you said I found this house, it was going to be in the middle of the clubhouse. Like in the middle of the clubhouse, I found this house, and that was what was weird about it. Have another drink, Mashy. Have another. I'm drink. going. Sorry, go back. So it looked like it looked like there was paper on the windows here. It's um, a dojo. It's a dojo. <laughs> There's people going karate in there. <laughs> Play golf and learn karate at the same time. Karate. <laughs> karate. Yes. Um, but Pac-Man, good job. Um, I'd like the course, and then oh, you, you found this, right? It's pretty cool. There's a runway, like this is the sat shader, like just north of the course or east. Or you west, can tell it's really runway. close because his meshes end right there. Yeah, his meshes end. I grab, whoop, I grab part of the mesh, and yeah. his meshes end right there, and then there's a course right there. And so I know this is purely whoops. a basic build, and you probably just whoops cranked it out. I'd love to have seen a plane. I, I can imagine you're playing on this course, and like a crop duster takes off or something. Like it's not a big airport. I don't expect jets or yeah. blimps. Or good beer blimps or anything, but um, I don't know. It would have been cool. I know you probably didn't need to. Yeah. Well, the thing is, there's there's no airplanes on the tarmac here, so <laughs> well, it's a closed it's, it's, a, it's a closed airport. It's actually private. Like one guy who owns the course owns his own airport. Probably right. Probably right. Maybe. Yep. Good job, Pac-Man. Nice yep. course. Nice course. Way to represent the prairie. Yes. <laughs> and, and now just moving to Minnesota, out in the Midwest. We uh we're bringing up Run Pud Run, who is has two courses this week. He First does. one with Princeton, and not Princeton, New Jersey. It's Princeton. I thought it was Princeton, New I Jersey. I totally thought so too. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, now I'll go back real quick because yeah. Run, I, I I would have had some fun if if I'm sure he obviously somebody commissioned him to do this course, but like Princeton Golf Course is a beautiful 18 hole par 71 course nestled along the Rum Pud Run River. Rum Pud Rum Pud Run. <laughs> Rum pud rum. rum pud. You should have slipped that in there and seen if anybody noticed. Like, oh, I've been yeah. looking for Easter eggs and I haven't found any lately, but that would have been a cool one. <laughs> it was when he drinks too much, you call him rum pub. Rum, rum, rum pub. Rum pub. Rum run. pub. Rum, pub, rum. <laughs> run. Have a beer with us, please, when you're watching this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool course. Yes, cool course. Uh, so this is T box number one. Yeah. And what? Oh, custom tea markers. Pretty cool yeah. looking tea markers. Custom yeah. flag. So someone trees look good in the background. Someone wanted this one done right. And then I really liked these. Um, I don't know. They're they're probably were done in auto fence builder. I'm thinking not in Blender. But I I just think this is great because the guy who I think about a year ago was basically yelling on Discord. That I had no idea how to do bulkheads. Bulkheads suck. It is now like putting like triple flighted triple layer bulkheads. T boxes. <laughs> and now with bulkheads. I would love though, like listen, I agree. I think Ron, I think you did a great job is uh, these bulkheads are hard to do and the train around them is hard to uh, do. Oh, the train's a bitch. Yeah. I I w I would love if if the magician or the architect, who are the blender, whoever the either the blender or maybe the maybe the Unity Wizards, but like I wish there was a way to do a sheer drop off in Unity with Train, right? A true, like, I want the top of the bulkhead to be completely flat, and I want the side to be completely flat because I want to put a bulkhead against it and hide the side versus the, it slopes out, right? Toronto, Toronto, yeah. I don't know how to do, in Unity, I don't know how to do, if you even can do, hard oh. Train. 
it takes a little bit of knowledge, but you can do this in Blender pretty easily. Um, I mean, to, mm, yeah, yeah, because you put you, your terrain into Blender, what you, you don't is, is you you conform it to your terrain, but then take the edge of that mesh which drops off. Yeah, you could just lift it up, and yeah. you could select all those vertices along that side, put them yeah. all at the same level, and boop, lift them all up. Yeah, I was thinking more like the side getting in the side completely flat, but you could do the same thing, grab those vertices yeah. and pull it pull it in that way and make it completely flat yeah. that way. So, but yeah. yeah. Um so yeah, there's lots of ways. That's why I keep on telling about learn Blender because if you can learn Blender, you can do anything. Mm, that's true. Yep. That is true. Uh so his grass, so what I was surprised with and I think you said you were having a similar issue was far away this is how his grass and fairways looked. It was kind of like a lighter and yep. I don't want to use the word washed out because that sounds bad because the course might look like this, but then in closer, it was much darker. Um, and I think you said you were having a similar kind of like challenge with one of the courses you're working on. I do like the texture yeah, I, of this, of the golf course here. Or the, uh, oh, I think, I think the textures look great. I think yeah. of course his textures look great. I think he did a great job. I think his 3DG looks great. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm I'm running into a similar, and I don't know, like, who knows, maybe I'm completely lost in my mind and forgot how to do stuff, but I find when I'm, especially on, especially on satellite shader, not so much on the standard, you know, shaders that come with it, but if I'm high up, I get one view, and if I'm down low, I get a yeah. different looking view, and I try to match them up, and I'm playing with the fars and the normals, and I'm playing with the, you know, the, 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 the far away distances and stuff, and it just doesn't, it looks different from one on a fly over a pie. It looks like one. And when you're down at the course level, it looks different. And yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with it, but it, I, I don't know if anybody else is noticing as well. DPR had a video, I think on, on helping with that, but it was pretty, well, I think old. I saw that. Yeah. It was pretty old. So things might've changed a little bit. Um, and then I did like notice like here, I don't think my screenshot really captured it well, but I didn't think his, bottom texture here match the grass but depending on the angle i was looking at like here i thought it looked better and then like area like this it looked really good it looked fantastic, now this yeah. is different grasses here so i don't know if that was just I, I think it was more or less the angle i was and i think he did the best that he could there um but now, the grass, Ron, we yeah. did have a question for you on here though the green grass is that long 3dg or is that 2 like a, just a 2d grass texture it was moving in the wind so that's yeah. why i think we we're i was leaning towards it being just a 2d yeah. grass texture that but, i was playing um, the other day that i could i there was a way that you could enable wind on 3dg yeah. I, just, I just was yeah. afraid to do it because i wasn't sure what that was going to do with performance but um, I have on the course I'm building right now, I actually enabled it and it moves in unity. It's pretty cool. I don't know whether or not that it's, it uses the global wind setting. So I don't know if it's the same setting that is yeah. happening in this pro. Um, I actually just built the course out. So I should look and see if it's, if it's doing it. Yeah. I thought the grass here looked really good. This, this I particular too. shot here. Um, yeah. And then another common thing I've been seeing recently and run, I'd like to know, is this just, first of all, is this aqueous light? And did you change the lighting here at all? Because there's a couple of things going on. One is it's like oily, right? Very dark. I'm not sure where this red is coming from. And Mash, you've seen this yeah. before. I'm seeing this a lot. I'm seeing both of the two things you just mentioned. And I'm sure you're going to mention it. But the, the dark kind of oily texture or the, the, the color yep. and that red color at the top. And I'm seeing it on a lot of water myself in my own courses as well. Yeah. And the last thing I run, I'd love for you to try. It looks like your base texture here is wrong. It's, this is the, the, the black along the outside here. Maybe I would like you to, yeah, I want to, I want you to change this to like what it should be and see if that changes this dark color of the water. Um, and I, here, I'm, I'm telling you to do all this stuff. And meanwhile, you're a busy guy. I'm just kind of curious if that changes the inky color of the water or not. I don't know. Yeah. So, um, oh, and there's just, well, this was another shot of like, I may, so maybe it was because I don't think the, the base here was wrong when this was kind of inky too. No, I think, and I think I put this one in because I was capturing, you see kind of a reddish tint on the top of the water there. Um, the screenshot's not really good. Yeah, it, I don't see I, the screenshot isn't capturing as much here. Yeah. I think when I'm golfing tomorrow, I'm going to really pay attention to water and see like, is it really, because like, like part of me says water is kind of dark like this. Um, but it's I, dark if it's deep. Yes. 
I think if it, if, it, if it drops off as deep, as dark, if, yeah. uh, or if it's really muddy. I mean, I, I find like smaller ponds. I'm not knocking Rudd. I think his water looks great. I'm just saying. I was just trying to capture some of that weird red that I've been seeing, not just in his. But, but there was such the course, I think, last week. Maybe it was one of the, I forget whose course it was, but we were like saying, I think Golf Boy had posted in Discord how he's got dark, inky water. Yeah. And I actually, on, like on the ranch last week, I did all my water in RAM and used the RAM shaders because I didn't like the way the the base shaders were, were looking yeah um so I'll be curious what is i i, I think this has got to be aquas i think uh, yeah i think so and then the texas revolver so i was looking up texas consolver. Hey. i was like i was wondering what consolver is and like it's like a, a boy's name is consolver oh. it's like a pop not popular anymore but it used to be a, a name in i think in texas and um it's also like a name that you call something that's like unique so I was kind of, what does Consolver mean? I had no idea. I don't so, know. So anyway, um, Bob Dunning, six holes of water coming into play here. So this reminded me very much of the last course. And of course, it's the Midwest. It's flat, right? So that's the theme this week. <laughs> We're, we got flat prairie courses. Yeah. And I think this looks like 3DG over here as well. It looks like the same grass they had in the other course, like same okay. style. It does look like 3DG over there. Yep. Yeah. And, you know, grass looks really good. Uh, and this was something funny that you found here, which is. This, I, yeah. And this was, I was just curious what your, if you had a thought process on this, I just thought it was interesting. Like the bottom half is your outer. The upper half is your inner terrains. Okay. The water river is actually a ram. It looks, I think it's a ram spline. It's I, I, I didn't, be, right. It's, it's either be. ram or it's it, it can't be a, a it can't be a blender. I mean that's just no no it's got to be a ram spline, and it, it it the ram spline starts on the outer. Now if you fl it doesn't matter because you're not going to see it from the course. So this is nothing about the course critique. It was more of an interesting observation. When you go down to the water on the outer, it's probably 20, 30 meters above the outer terrain. It's like up high. And then it kind of goes around and then it comes to the inner and on this kind of right where it turns to the right, where it crosses the inner, you moving your cursor. We can't see it here. There you go. Yep. Yep. Right there. So it goes under the inner about the top of the curve there. It pops through the inner and then he's got a great river that goes on the inner through the rest of the way. And then it exits the inner back to the outer on the other side, and it splines on the outer out to the mm -hmm. to the top of the outer. And so I just found it really interesting that there's this ram spline on the outer that crosses through the inner. It's kind of cool. I just didn't. I was just curious what your thought process was on it. That's all. I wonder if he like just splined it. Well, if he maybe if he was zoomed out way from above, he maybe couldn't see the difference between the. I don't know. You know maybe he just started clicking from high and just yep. went from just outer went. to inner, and they had. Colliders on both, yeah. so it planted on click, 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 yeah. click, 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 yeah. yeah. And then the golf boys course. So I can't believe Scott Schreiner got his own course. I'm so impressed with that man. <laughs> do you know? Do I'm sure I know who I Scott know, Schreiner? I know okay. who Scott Schreiner is? Me uh, being the new Schreiner. golf guy, you could have said that. Yeah, Scott Schreiner is a famous golfer. Or blah blah blah. No, I'm you know, looking I, him I, up I'm right totally... now. Hold on, I'm going to the famous Google machine. Scott Schreiner. Who is who is Scott Schreiner? I'm going to look it up right now. I'm going to ask chat GBT. Hold on. I'm going to do it the right way. <laughs> you keep talking. I'm going to look right. it up. So when I first turned on this course, this is what I saw. And I immediately went, uh, you know, uh, and I was like, what's going on here? This like the trees are all like white and washed out. And I said to myself, it's got to be something with advanced lighting. And then he has, there's, there's actually some fencing going down here. I think for the driving range, it just did not look right at all and i went into the then i zoomed up in the air and then i looked at the billboards and the billboards were like sparkling um so the specular was like i think the speculars turned up way too high in the billboards but all this is being exasperated by bad advanced lighting section uh settings so golf boy just be careful if you go when you do advanced lighting that you're going to send out with your course be very conservative with what you do. Like I would not go outside of like 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. That yeah. four hour yeah. range. Stay yeah. in there because you can now if you want to take screenshots and brag about your course and like, yes, then you can you can make it a sunset. You can make it, you know, whatever you want. 
But the problem is if you go to like 8.30 in the morning, then you're going to go to certain parts of the course where it's going to look like it's going to look bad like it did here. So you got to be careful because if someone doesn't understand advanced lighting, which is like 90% of the GS Pro users, they probably don't even know like advanced lighting exists. Okay. So they're going to turn this course on and they're going to see they're going to see this and they're going to turn it off. Right? And, or, or, or you're going to be a lazy asshole like me. I turn it on. I saw this and said, yeah. Yeah. And I don't want to screw with advanced lighting unless, yes. I mean, I shouldn't have to go in and, and reset settings just to make the course look good. It should look good on the gate. And then I want to tweak it if, yeah. if I need to. Yeah. So don't, don't go bloom crazy. Okay. Keep that low or in the yeah. middle because that also some systems, and I don't know what the cause is. High bloom causes like bunkers. They're put in black. black. And, yep. and sometimes it actually causes advanced lighting issues or people have to exit out of advanced lighting, go back in. Sky tint, eh, I turned that down a little bit. I guess the point of here, just don't go too far from the defaults on the advanced lighting for people. Um, keep it looking decent. Yeah. doesn't have to look perfect. And then the guys like us who really want it to look good will go in and change it ourselves. So Now, I would do a GS Pro feature request off of this course, though. Oh, okay. what's that? So if we, and we didn't actually have them for the show, but I, I, I would love, there's no way to do it easily. But I would love to be able to set theme. So I want to play this course, and I want to play it in a spring morning. So I just choose spring morning, and it course loads up. Advanced lighting is set to 9 a.m. I've got some fog in the distance because it hasn't burned off yet. The bunkers have the wet shader in them because the sprinklers have just finished going off, right? And then the the fairways are soft and the greens are soft because of the rain that happened overnight, right? So there's my spring morning where I want to play summer afternoon. And it's like, so I want to be able to pick course profiles. Dude, we talked. We didn't have a feature request of the week. And there you go. There now we is. do. I just thought of it just <laughs> now. I just thought of it off of this. So there we go. Steve, cue up the feature request of the week, you know, you go. <laughs> in the middle of the golf boy course for you. <laughs> By the way, I feel bad. I feel like an idiot. I should have known this. Scott Schreiner is a professional golfer from Texas. See, I he told you he's a professional golfer. Yeah, he won the 1955 PGA Championship and played on the Ryder Cup team in 57 and 59. Jeez, I should have known that. Yep. <laughs> So is this his? Was this in his honor, or did he design? Yeah, it? yeah, it was named after him. Yeah, the okay. Scott Schreiner Municipal Golf Course is located in Kerrville, Texas. Named after. I'm guessing Scott was from Kerrville. Cool. Very nice. Um, it's oh, so here it now is. After good. I fixed the lighting, so look at this. This Back. is when I started. Okay. And there it is now. Nice. Much nice. better. Much, Much better. better. Okay. Um, however, you still get issues with your billboards. Billboards. Um, yep. you see your specular. I, I'm 90% sure this is specular. So just turn specular, your specular down. Yeah. Um, I will say if you go matched. back, go if you go back one slide, I was going to say, I, 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 my other issue would, it's not an issue recommendation. I should say it's just dark. It feels very dark. The trees feel dark. The shadows feel dark. The, everything feels real dark. I would just lighten it a little bit. I think a little bit of light. I would on the colors. say yes, but it could be the screenshot too. I I, okay. I I I'm say that a lot of times my screenshots aren't accurate. Um, so I well, didn't when think I it, yeah. when I played through it without fixing the lighting, it was almost impossible to see because it was so dark. Right. What were the, I assume um, that's just carrying light over. ray intensity, light saturation, sun strength is still down. See here. Yeah. I don't think I touched that, so that probably could have been turned up. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there that. And then um, on a flyover, I saw a couple areas where your your blends just, you know, so this one I yep, saw on a flyover, awesome. you can see this line going around. I mean, that blend is, whoops, that blend is uh, obviously off. Yeah. It's not matching yep. on either side, which gives you that distinct line. Um, yep. I did like this. I think he was talking about this on Discord. He yep. did the uh, vert painting with 3dg so did use different lengths of 3dg thought that was cool he's got he's gotten really good i know i know he spent he's a lot creative. of time sending this very part, creative. Yeah, working on 3dg and kind of he's gotten some really good results i like yeah. that it looks really good the color here is really close i think he i think he just stuck to the defaults which are really good yep. and i think it because it could be a tri-blend but either way the, the length here looks really good uh but not sure what happened there oh he took that one out so this was a tree i think you found what no wind on it 
no wind on that one. Just check that one tree. I I even played I played the front nine before I checked this tree again because sometimes I feel like it won't move, and then after two or three holes, the trees start moving, and this one did not move. So okay. just heads up. Yep. Um, and then another one didn't move. Well, yeah, I think this one didn't move. And this looks like a speed tree to me. Could be something else. But the reason I the only reason I think it's a speed tree is because this is the same tree yeah. as this. And you might say, oh, it's a different tint. No, when I, when you, when I moved from lot zero to lot one, it popped between these two colors. Yep. So you have to be careful. New designers or people who have been – sometimes if you change the color on your lot zero tree because you want a different color – Make sure that the lots one and two are using the same material because if they're assigned right. different materials, then they don't get changed and you run into like this weird tint. So what happened with him is it was this color, then changed to this greener color, and then the billboard changed again. So there was just a lot of popping going on. Just be aware of that. Yep. Yep. Um, so I came to this hole and I was like, oh, this is a cool hole. Let me get a screenshot of that. And then like mm -hmm. the bridge caught my eye. Mm -hmm. Um and it looks dilapidated, right? And I think yep. what he tried to do here is he put an arch in the wooden bridge. Now, I don't think a wooden bridge of this length deserves an arch. I think it should just be flat. And I think it would have helped. So here it is. And you, and you think is when you arch these bridges, your supports also start to like come yeah. together too. And you can it fix those in Blender. Yeah, it made it look rickety. It made it look dangerous, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. I don't want to drive across this, right? But the um, scene is great. Like I love the water and the rocks oh, yeah. and the grass. And the, and the, the scene looks great. The bridge is, I'm afraid to drive on it. Like my car can't make it. And, and here's an example where the water here looks fine. Now the water back here looks really oily. So I'm not sure. Yep. And that's just, maybe that's, that's... Aquashader right there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so then maybe I said, it's, it could, I'd be curious on the, on the, on that. I'd be curious to turn off advanced lighting. Yes, that would be. I am curious with advanced lighting off if the, if the aqua shader, I, I still think there's some funky stuff with advanced lighting. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, the water here look. Now, I did find another bridge that I thought was like, <laughs> it looks like something I would drive matchbox cars over, you know, because it's like angled and, and uh, you know, sloped to the side and then it goes right into the side. So, I yeah, don't get don't get too, I would say, as uh, DPR puts it, what does he say? Do, don't, don't get too uh, pretty with it or cutesy, yeah. cutie. Don't yeah. get too cute. Yeah. Um, I would say just try to keep these flat, you know. Um, so, and then we have one entering the gauntlet this week. So TechBud decides to send us uh, a present. Uh, we got to play Whistling Straits last week, and we're going to put it through the gauntlet this week to decide whether Whistling yep. Straits gets an ace, an eagle, or the birdie. Yep. So... Um, so we had to take a quick pause there because we had a pre-show blunder. A, I, th I think that was the first like pause we really had in the middle of a show. I think so. Yeah, we've gone. Well, we really actually like broken. Yeah, yeah. All right. I agree. I mean, we've had some technical where we had like you know well, someone's I, internet dropped or something. You know. Yeah, internet dropped or the one time I think I like realized we weren't recording when Pac-Man was on and we'd lost like thirty <laughs> minutes of like us just talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. It was early days. Yeah, well, we honestly we we realized that <laughs> we are starting this. We're 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 running this through the, the gauntlet, and we never decided what the final verdict was. <laughs> like, wait a minute, what are we? <laughs> we're gonna so, give it. <laughs> so wishing wishing straight. Wishing. Wishing straight. I'm just gonna let you handle this one while I go get another beer. <laughs> wishing straight. <laughs> <laughs> nicely done so yeah. this was one that we got to play um and we had the little short video we did last week yeah. um with the beta version i loved doing yeah. that i loved doing that yeah. that's, I do that's too. so much fun hey, designers if you have a course and you're getting ready to launch it and you want to do that kind of come play master and i for a handful of holes we love doing that it's so much yep. fun we've done it twice now and if you have a blender person doing your work with you bring them along that's a good foursome yep especially like a justin Ooh. yep yeah, mouse, mouse master, mouse master. Yeah, yeah. Um, Feature request number two: make mousing harder for Justin. Yeah, all right. Can we give him like a yeah, <laughs> give an extra wind or 
is something. Give him the tiger heartbeat <laughs> to make it harder. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like how, first of all, he's he set the default win to breezy, right? Because that's yeah. that's what you got to do on this yeah. course. Yeah. Um, driving range. I had to put it in here because if you're doing gauntlet, we're going to look at everything, including everything. the driving range. I, I think there was one went, went through the gauntlet and I found something goofy on the driving range a while back. Um, so, yeah, we take a look at these things, everything through. Yep. Uh, yep. I don't know if the flags are marked to certain distances or not. They they, they seem kind of random. I didn't, but... They seem kind of random and I didn't didn't hit to them. But, and keep yeah. in mind, if you're going through gauntlet, we're looking at every little thing. Yep. So, um, I but I didn't look at that. Uh, to, to, I didn't measure them out. No, I didn't either. Um, and this is the first tee shot from the tips. So and, uh, yeah, we saw this when we were playing those guys, the cart path was like really good. And then there were just details everywhere, right? Details, yeah. details, 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 like this fine detail, which we're going to see, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we're going to mm -hmm. see how long. Uh, right? uh, don't say it. Don't say it. Enough said. Uh, yeah. I mean, we'll see. Maybe I yeah. shouldn't even put this in here. Right. He, um, should, he shall, shall not be named. Yep. Uh, maybe he has a different version without these so that if it happens, he can just swap it really yep. quick, right? Yep. Um, on to the next thing. So, yeah, so hole number two, like the, the signs that Justin did here were cool. He even had the names of the holes on, yes. on there too, which is yes. really cool. The barrel is a nice touch. Yep. The bench is, yep. the, bench is the great. grass around the barrels, you know, the unkept look. And then, like, so then this is the same. No, this is a different hole. Yeah. And I'm going to move. The, I'm going to move our video out of the way three. temporary so you guys can see all yeah. this. And I was just going to take a second and, like, look at all the various things going on here. First of all, if you look at, like, the water, the water yep. was really well done. The yep. rocks, you know, the lo washed up logs. The logs on the rocks. Yeah, exactly. I mean, everything here was, like, really well done. And then you move over the hole. You got the... The fancy water cooler with the ball washer, the barrel, the sign, the bench, the T marker, right? Obviously, you know, like the detail on the detail, though. Look at the water cooler. You see the yellow cooler inside the water cooler. Yeah, holder. right. Like it's detail on top of detail. Now, I would like to know is if Justin did he put a real cooler in there? And then he wrapped that around, <laughs> you know, or is that, or did he actually save on tries and just, that's just a little yellow part in there, right? It wouldn't surprise me if he put an actual cooler in there. Yeah. I'll have to zoom in. I bet in game, you could probably zoom right in there and tell. I bet you could. Yeah. Even yeah. like, look, he's even got the, uh, the paper cups on the side of it yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. No, the only thing he's missing is a couple just thrown on the ground. <laughs> so they're on the ground. There were a trash can. Oh no, I guess there is. A, where's the trash can? Trash is it the can barrel? The, is the barrel the, the trash barrel can? The barrel is the trash can. Maybe. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then the bunkers. I mean, there are. I what did he say? There's over 1,600 bunkers on this course. Yeah, they um, had to go to GS oh. Pro's developer team and have them change the code to support that many bunkers. Yeah, that's just it's that's unreal. And that's unreal. And then the grass is there too. And Tuckbud hand planted all these. I can tell this isn't a biome because you have areas right here. Yep. Where he's got this long, like um, feathery stuff. Yep. But then it doesn't it just doesn't go out. Them so, in and in yeah. throughout. Yep. Um, and then more bunkers, more bunkers, more bunkers, oh. unique. And then the island roughs in the bunkers. Now, there was one thing that I was not a fan of, and I'm not sure if this was him just being intentional or not, which this blend around some of these island roughs in the right. middle of the bunkers, I didn't think right. was correct or it just wasn't what I thought it should be. I thought it should have been more green right out to the edge. Yeah. And, and if you zoom in, you can just tell it's just doesn't match up to this sand piece here. It, I think it was supposed to match the same blend that's on the outside here. Um, Probably. Yeah. Yeah. So I, that's, I don't know, in the grand scheme of things, does it really matter? Um, and then Justin did an outstanding job with the clubhouse. Uh. Justin's work, his blender work, and this is 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 yeah. He's like the one and only. I mean, there yeah. there are listen. We have fantastic blender guys now. Justin is. Yeah, I consider he, he, Justin was my blender mentor. Yeah. Um, yeah. When I first getting, I was asking him tons of questions. He was sending me tons of like quick five minute videos on how to do certain things. I wouldn't have been able to build the Hershey uh, Links Clubhouse without him. So mm. yeah, big thanks to what he's done. 
and there's the other side so cart path here <laughs> bunkers again and just amazing textures on this amazing depth um, yep. so beautiful so good so what do you think man should we give it the old uh i think we should here? give it the old we did we did we did chain we need to get like a a spinning like a like a slot machine where they spin and... oh, we should have done that for the win um yeah, totally. <laughs> well I, I can tell you right now that there is no way this course is a birdie okay yeah i'm just gonna tell you that right now yeah i think the question is that. is it an eagle or an ace and again we reserve the ace for the absolute top of the top high quality and and by the way it's not just for how good it is that it looks but also how does it play right yeah. um and then an eagle is like really 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 good just not quite as good as an ace so yeah. and i think um, ace is um if trackman were to come tomorrow and say hey gs pro we got our best course and your best course let's put them GS up against. pro is going to go grab an ace right yep. Right. Yeah. That's how yep. I feel. So yep. with that being said, what are we going to do? This one's easy. I'm going ace. Yeah, we're going ace. It's yeah. so good. It's so good. Congratulations, Tech Bud and Justin. It's so good. It plays fantastic. It's fun. It looks great. It's fun. Um, I, I've never played this course in real life. I would love to someday, but I, I get immersed in this course. Yeah. I played it a couple of times now. Now I'm having a couple guys either over tomorrow night or Sunday night to watch the open and we're mm, yeah. I'm trying to decide whether we're going to play LA Country Club or are we going to play Whistler. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's it's fun to play the LA Country Club because that's what they're playing today. Yes. It's, a pretty, it's a year old course. Yeah, so and, and and also the version that we have isn't exactly matching what they're playing right, right now either. Right. Um, right, right. They lengthen the tees and stuff. Yeah. Oh, before we get to, I guess we got to get to the MPAL. But before the MPAL, we have the post of the week, which I think is a good one this week. It's And it's not a Facebook post for a change. It's a Discord it's post. It's a Discord post. Yeah. It's a yep. Discord. So this guy this one cracked us up. went into the help channel. <laughs> and he needed some help. In the SGT help. Discord. In the, yes, the SGT Discord in the help channel. And he needed some help with his SkyTrack Plus. Getting yep. E6 to work running with a sky track. on a sky track. Sky track blast. <laughs> <laughs> so he wanted the E6 demo. So you know, I in case you know, so I you know, I have a unsupported launch monitor. It doesn't work with GS Pro, but can you guys tell me how to get E6 working? <laughs> so. Whoever whoever wrote the connector for the Mevo Plus for GS Pro, will you go ahead and write this guy as a SkyTrack Plus connector to E6? <laughs> I don't understand. I'm amazed at the number of people who, I guess tried they, to help. well, not sorry, even try to help, but the number of people who are just going out and blindly upgrading to a SkyTrack and then finding out that it doesn't work on GS Pro. Listen, SkyTrack Plus on paper, I've not seen it work in action, right? On paper, it's good. They have a lot of really, really good functionality. And they, they, I think they closed the gap with a lot of the gripes I had with SkyTrack uh, initially. I, I still the don't biggest like gripe I had was the shot delay. That hasn't gone away, though, has the it? The shot delay was horrible. I don't know if it's gone I, away or I not. Think it's, I don't think it action. has. I think it's still there. I thought I'd read that it was better. I don't like the little laser dot you got to put the ball in every time. That drives me crazy. But um, the but rest entry of it, level, pretty it's good. pretty good. Yeah, entry yeah. level, it's pretty but, good. But but you're right. It doesn't work with GS Pro. Yeah, not so, right now anyway. Maybe it will right at some now. point. Yeah, so yeah, I'm with you. I thought that was a great post. Can though. you still get an old SkyTrack? Are those done with sales? Do you know? I can't. I think you can still buy them off their website. Okay. I don't know why you would, though. I'd buy it off of a used one. Well, they're, they're, you they're... buy that one if you want to play GS Pro, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Um, and then the MPAL. Uh, I, I, you know, I'll be, I'm just going to go, it's Whistler for me. <laughs> it's Whistler for me. It's Whistler for me. No, no, no problem with any of the other courses. They're all good. They're all fine. Yeah. But on a week where Whistler comes out, that was a hard, that was a hard, uh, challenge for, for them to, to overcome that. He got uh, the triple crown, ace and two MPALs. Ace and two MPALs. He got, yeah, he got the, so now tech, congratulations. I, I, funny, I, I think it's funny. I love tech. I think he's awesome. 
Um, and I think he's such an amazing asset of the community. He's also pretty nonchalant about this stuff. Like, yeah, whatever. I, you know, I don't care. So I think, but I, I want him. Like, I think he cares. Like, I really think he's going to be happy that he got the ace. And so, um, you know, maybe we'll I know he poured his soul into this one. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, um, he deserves it. Too. He and Justin both deserve it. It's a fantastic course. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Congratulations, Justin. Congratulations, Tech Bud. Um, not a surprise to me, honestly. You know. Uh, yep. good stuff good stuff so are we yes we are we are at right now we're at 59 minutes that's the shortest one we've done it might be the shortest one ever yep wow wow so we can put a and bow on still, this one and, and we still had five courses that we yes <laughs> yes and uh you're going golf tomorrow i'm going golf tomorrow it's it's father's day so happy father's day happy to all father's the dads day out to there you. happy father's day to all the dads hit them long and straight yep and uh See you next week. See you next week. Bye, everybody. Bye.